But now, what you will notice is that you can't actually close this window. And remember when I told you that um, SFML handles all of this stuff um, with an event system? Well, we haven't actually defined a method um, that tells um, our, our game what to do when this X button is clicked. We need to define a method and then subscribe to that event that is raised whenever we click this button. So now there's no way for me to close this game but to press Alt F4. Nope, not even that works. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna go to the task manager and close it. Hold on a second. Alright, so now that I got rid of it, um, let's take care of this problem and go to our game loop and in there, in the constructor um, our window property got an event handler called closed and to that to that uh, event handler we're gonna add um, a method which I just uh, created automatically uh, you can you can do that uh, manually as well we're gonna add this method uh, let's make it private um, and take this out so now when the X button at the upper right corner is clicked um, this event is raised and since we subscribed to that event with this method this method will be called and what this method does all it does is to call window close so now when we start it up again it's really ugly, ugly. I should change the dimensions and the color uh, and now that when we click X our game closes hooray Okay, so this is all really nice and stuff, but how do we know that our code, that our game loop, actually works? All we see is a blue window. Um, and to prove that, to prove that our code actually works, we're going to do one more thing. Um, but first of all, I'm going to rename this um, automatically created uh, method and take out, erase uh, this underscore to make it conform to the actual C-sharp naming convention. Okay, start again. Okay, everything's all right. Okay, um, so what we want to do now is display some data uh, in this window um, just to prove that our code actually works. And to display data, to display text, um, we need a font. We need to actually use a font file because SFML doesn't come with any fonts included right so you just uh, gotta find some font file that you want to use um, I just uh, copied this Arial font file um, and then you go to your to your to the directory that your solution is in Right, this is the solution, this is the directory of your solution. Um, and once you uh, build uh, your application, uh, you will find in here, you will find a new folder called bin and there's another folder debug inside. And this is your application uh, after it was built. Um, and in here, we're going to add a new folder and call it fonts and in that fonts folder we're gonna put the font that you uh, copied that you chose I just chose uh, Arial because why not um, so now we're able to actually load uh, this font when we use it in our application okay so now we're going to create a new class 
I'm gonna just put it in the game folder. And I'm gonna call this class debug utility. And I'm gonna use this, as I said, to, dis to display some text on the screen that proves that our uh, game code is working. Um, first, let's erase all this. As always, and we're gonna need the graphics namespace, and I think that's it. Oh, no, we also need the SFML system namespace. Okay, now we're gonna make this a static class. We're not gonna create any instances of it. Inst instances of it. Uh, we're just gonna use it as a utility class. Um, so we don't need this constructor either. Um, okay, and the first thing that we're going to declare is a constant string. And we're gonna call this console um, console font path. And this is the path, the relative path to our font that we just created. So, uh, Arial, what is it? What's the extension? TFF? TTF, TTF, it's TTF. Um, there we go. Um, so just to store the path so we don't have to, because it will always be the same. We just assume it'll always be the same path. Um, we can just uh, use this when we load the font. Um, now, also make a static field uh, for this font and call it console font. Now, we need a method that loads this font into this font uh, field. So, as, since this is a static class, uh, all of these are going to be static methods. It's not going to return anything. Load content. You could also uh, call it load font in this case, but um, maybe you're going to even extend this debug utility and make it use even more content, and uh, then the load content would be a more fitting name. Okay, so uh, console font, whoops, console font is a new font, and you'll see that the font class of SFML takes a file name as a parameter, and that makes it load the file automatically. Whoops, ah, stupid me, just pass it a console font path. There we go. And now this font uh, field holds this font. Okay. So now we're gonna actually write a method that displays some text onto the screen. And call it, let's call it, um, let's call it, what can we call it? Draw draw performance data okay and as a parameter we will need our whoops we will need our game loop and we will need um, a color to di to display uh, to um, yeah, the, the font should be rendered in. Um, let's call it font color. Okay. And first thing we should do, just a as a precaution, uh, check if console font is null for whatever reason. Maybe you misspelled or mistyped the, the path and it couldn't be loaded and then it is null. Um, and then we... Uh, would get an exception. We don't want that. 
So if console font is null, return and don't do anything. Right? So we call this method, console font is null, return, that's it. Okay, but if it's not null, which we assume, uh, we're going to display some text. And uh, let's declare a few strings first. Um, the first one will be total time elapsed as a string. And we'll get that by accessing our game loop dot game time and in there we remember we got this property total time elapsed um, but since this is a float and we want this to be a string we need to call the to string method and uh, to define how many decimal places we would like to be displayed we can use this as a as a as a type of formatting Pretty sure. All oh, right, it needs to be a string. Uh, totally elapsed time this is in seconds, so this should do. We can see the uh, milliseconds, right? Okay, so next string we want to be displayed is um, let's say. Delta time. So game loop, game time, uh, delta time, to string, and let's say uh, five decimal places and we want our last string to represent um, our FPS our current FPS not our target FPS but the current FPS and we need to calculate that first but that's fairly simple um, we're just going to say one one second divided by delta time and now whoops we need to um, make this a string because it's still a float and for our <coughs> for our FPS we don't need as many decimal places let's say two Okay, and now we can create a new text object. And pass it this the first string, total time of that string, and the font, which will be console font, and the character size, which will be the size of the of the character. The characters. So let's say if 14. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, right, the positioning and the color uh, need to be done separately. So let's say text, text, I meant to say text, of course, text position. Um, and this is represented as a vector, new vector, and x value is going to be 4, and y value is going to be, let's say, 8. So from the upper right, uh, upper left corner, excuse me, it's 4 pixels or 4 units to the right and 8 units uh, down. Okay, so the color, of course, will be our font color. 
Okay, so same thing for the other strings. Let's call this text B, text B, text B. And we need to display it a bit lower. Let's say plus, plus 20. And again, text C, we want to display frames per second, uh, console font, blah, blah, blah. And for the Y, y value, again, add another 20. And of course, this is text C as well. Okay, and basically all we need to do now is call um, the the method called draw inside um, the game loops window and a text uh, derives from the drawable class in SFML so we can just pass it each text let's say text um, yeah that's all we need to do and repeat that for the other two texts text B and text C so hopefully, if we did everything correctly, we can now use this method to display our performance data uh, on the screen. Okay, so let's try that um, by going back into our tuto game or whatever you called it class. Uh, let's go into the draw method because that is what we use to uh, render stuff. Let's call debug utility dot draw performance data. Um, then pass the current game loop, which is this one, because tutor game is a game loop, and a color. Let's say um, uh, let's say white. And actually, I'm gonna make this whole game window black instead of blue because it's really ugly okay um, but first what we forgot is to actually call debug utility load content okay so let's try that and there we go this is our totally lapsed time which seems to be correct 8 9 10 it is in seconds and this is our delta time, which also seems to be correct. And this is our current uh, FPS, which due to rounding errors will very, very rarely be exactly 60. It will most of the time be 59.9999098 or something like that. But everything seems to be all right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Um, please excuse my few mistakes here and there. This is my first tutorial ever recorded um, the dumbest thing I did was uh, use the wrong uh, local variable in the game loop but um, I make sure to correct that in the editing so this shouldn't be a problem for you and uh, yeah um, if there's anything you want to know um, like I said um, I, I just assume that you had a basic knowledge but still if there's anything like um, I've never worked with an abstract class. Um, what is it? What can it be used for? Um, what exactly does it? Well, what, what is a constructor even? What, what, are, what are all these properties you're talking about? Um, just feel free to ask and um, yeah, I will make sure to answer as many questions as I can as soon as I find the time. Maybe I'm gonna make a video about it. I uh, would love to make a few videos. Uh, just on the, the basic stuff um, yeah so um, please if you enjoyed this uh, give it a thumbs up or don't I leave that up to you but it would be highly appreciated and uh, see you guys next time when we get into um, actually drawing something useful on the screen so see you guys